Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. It has been a while, but I just needed a little break from recording weekly dinners, but I am back. And tonight we are having jerk chicken. Um, I grilled these chicken thighs on a charcoal grill and I used our favorite Walker's Wood um, jerk seasoning. For those of you that don't know, my husband is from Jamaica and this is the seasoning that he likes. It's a like a wet kind of rub. And then for the barbecue sauce, I used this um, Grace Jerk Barbecue Sauce. Both of these are products of Jamaica. We really like the Walker's Wood, but I have not seen the Walker's Wood Barbecue Sauce anywhere. And so I also decided to um, try out some potato salad. Now, normally I do not buy store-bought potato salad, but I picked this up from HEB. HEB usually has pretty good products and I just wanted to try it out. But this is a deviled egg potato salad. I tried it out, here it is on the plate. I doctored it up a little bit. So what I did was kind of mash up the potatoes a little bit because the cubes were a bit too hard for me. I added a little bit more mustard in there. And then I also added some salt. If I had had time, I would have also boiled some more eggs to put it in there. But to me, it's a little bit too mayo-y. I am not a big fan of mayo and I taste it kind of strong in there. So I'll probably just stick to making my own potato salad. And I will have a video coming out um, on how I make my own Southern style potato salad. And then serving it with a, serving the chicken with a side of baked beans. Um, I just use Bush's baked beans and I just doctor them up with bell pepper and bacon. I just kind of fried that in the pan. Then I added in my baked beans and then I just added in a little bit of um, the Sweet Baby Ray's, probably like a half a cup. And then I bake it in my oven for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a at home steakhouse dinner. I found some ribeyes on sale, so I grabbed them and grilled them. And we are having a baked potato on the side with butter, sour cream, salt, and pepper that I made in the air fryer. They always turn out perfect in the air fryer. I baked them at 400 degrees for about an hour. And we are having a side salad. I made my own little Caesar salad with Ken's Caesar dressing light and croutons and shredded Parmesan cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, using up some stuff from my freezer. Um, I got these uh, garlic sausages on sale at Kroger a while back ago and then I just threw them in my freezer and then I have some produce in my fridge that I need to use up. So I am going to make a sausage and veggie sheet pan type of meal, just throwing it together. So I have these uh, two russet potatoes in my fridge that needed to be used and then this red potato. Um, I've got a, a large onion that needs to be used and then also some Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to peel these potatoes and parboil them so that they bake a lot faster. And then I'm gonna chop up my sausage, combine everything in a bowl, um, use some grapeseed oil, and then I'm gonna use one package of onion soup mix and I'm gonna let these veggies roast and the sausage roast for about, I guess maybe half an hour or so until everything is tender. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. I let the um, sheet pan dinner go for about an hour at 400 degrees, serving it over some white rice that I flavored with this Mia Rose seasoning from Noor. You just prepare your rice just like you normally would, but when you add in the water, you add in a packet of this seasoning, and it is really good, very flavorful, has a garlic flavor to it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled cheeseburgers. I had some frozen patties 
in my freezer. Howard threw them on the grill for us. This is his plate. He topped it with cheddar cheese, um, tomatoes, and onion. He'll probably add some condiments maybe when we get to the table. I grilled the hamburger buns for us so that, with a little bit of butter. And then I just deep fried some store brand French fries outside. You guys know I hate frying inside in my little fry daddy. And then, oh, and there's bacon on there too. I don't remember if I mentioned that. And then this is my plate, same thing, grilled burger. And then I just have a little bit of ketchup and mustard on there and my fries. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Little Caesars because I was dying to try out their new Crazy Puffs. And so they come in a cute little box. These are the cheese. They look like they got a little overcooked. And these are the pepperoni. They are $3.99 each. So make sure to check out our review on the um, Crazy Puffs. And I will leave a link in the description box. And then we are also having a side of their oven roasted wings. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.